What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since we talked about the people over on 90 Day Fiance, so let's start off with a story about Anfisa and her husband George, who a lot of people suspect are on the verge of a divorce, and she definitely did not help rumors one bit with her recent outburst on social media. I'm taking all of these photos from my friends over at starcasm.net, so let's follow along through. It all started when she went online and posted a question to her followers stating, do you guys remember the late Stevie Ryan? Here is a conversation between her and George from a year ago and she just unleashed the floodgates, you guys. Here are all of the texts. You can see George reaching out to Stevie, texting her, hey, I'm still handling things, but I should be ready shortly. Stevie asked him, what are you doing? And he responded with, my mom made me come to spend a bit of time with family. I'm about to meet one person, then I'll head out to you. And she said, okay, cool. Hope you had fun with your family. And George said, thank you though, but I hated it. And Anfisa took this to kind of start serve as a job towards maybe his sisters and a lot of fans who claim that she keeps him away from his family and is causing a huge rift. And then she posted even more screenshots with George telling Stevie, no, you're not. Maybe you just never met someone that makes you happy. Stevie said, but I met you, so that's not true. It seems like she might have told him about her depression or something based off that little interaction. And George continued on to say, maybe when we finally get more time with each other, things will change for you. Smiley face, you are too sweet. See, you are not the Grinch. Stevie was the next one to send a flurry of texts with miss you and a heart. Good morning, my sweet. I'm at my treatment. Hope you slept well. Another heart. Hey, sweetness. Hope you got some rest last night. I'm up getting ready for my treatment. I didn't sleep at all last night for some reason. I feel super shitty today. Miss you. Double the hearts. George responded with good morning, beautiful. I got home at 12 because LAX was packed and it took at least an, and then it cuts off. And it actually turns out that the two plan to get together like in a more intimate way outside of their drug deals. Remember Stevie last year had exposed George, um, claiming that he was supposed to get drugs for her. He made her wait like six, seven hours for weed, sorry, and um, just flaked on her and everything. And then she re released the text messages. But here we see her texting him saying, hell yes, let's make it a date. And he says, sounds good, I can't wait. What's your favorite food? Stevie goes, anything with vegetarian options I'm down for. And the next day, George is like, morning, beautiful. I hope that your morning starts well and you feel better with your treatment session. And she said, good morning, I'm dragging ass today. I feel so horrible. And George really goes all out by saying, I don't mind doing anything for you, Stevie, and I mean it. I hope you get better soon with a heart. Hey, sweet, I'm at my treatment. I feel terrible. Going to go home and go back to bed after this. I have to cancel my podcast. And the final texts are from George and they say, good morning, beautiful. Please let me know if you need anything. And I hope you're feeling much better, beautiful. I miss you with a crying face. Cheating aside, it's really interesting to see that this actually happened. I never would have guessed based on the way that Stevie exposed George last year. I thought it was strictly business between the two of them, but lo and behold, this is, you know, something that they'd been running around doing um, the entire time, which is sad, but it's also in another um, stretch nice to see that he helped support her through her battle with depression before it ultimately took her life. So after all of these posts, Anfisa returned to Instagram to explain, probably because she was getting dragged quite a bit um, by people because Stevie has already passed away and she has no way to defend herself. So what's the point of bringing this up? It's not like George could even cheat with her again. You know what I mean? Like why? throw some more dirt on her name when she's already passed, let bygones be bygones. And so, and Fisa took to Instagram and posted, and I quote, all right, enough with bad vibes. The point was to show you that not everything you see on TV is true. I usually prefer to keep my feelings and personal life private, but some of you take it too far in my comments. So there goes your proof that a person that seems innocent may actually be a liar and a cheater. Don't judge my path if you haven't walked my journey. Thank you for your supportive messages last night. And since all of this has happened and Fisa has been banned from Instagram, I don't know if it's related or not, but there goes that. I don't understand what she meant to gain from this. A lot of us already do see through George's bullshit the same way that she's been trying to get us to see it like throughout the season, right? So it's just, this didn't really do much for her in my opinion. Like we all know George is manipulative. He lied to her about the money that he had and like being able to take care of her, like all sorts of different things that caused her to like leave her whole entire life and come here trusting him, you know, to have this life that he promised for her. So 
Did this change my opinion of George? No, I don't understand the point of this. And I feel like Infisa could have gone without posting this sort of thing on the internet in light of Stevie Ryan's suicide. But that's enough about my opinion. I'm more excited to hear what you have to say about everything. So please leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and we'll chat. You can also like this video, subscribe for more. Feel free to share it with your friends as well and follow me across social media where I absolutely love chatting with you. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.